everybody. I'm going to make this really quick. Today is the last day of April. I wanted to talk to you about my working with Lakshmi this month. Oh, it was so delicious. It's funny because out of all the goddesses I've worked with this year so far, and even before, she was the most ephemeral. She came to me. We would meet in the sky. Hi, Lou. I had this meditation going for a while that my aura was opening into greater layer, layers of flower petals like a lotus and going out to the horizon. And I've had that for a while, but it was getting more and more intense this spring. And so when I would meet Lakshmi, because she apparently, according to the mythology that she's a part of, she floats around on a lotus. So as the last thing in my meditation, after visiting other various guides and other various multidimensional alchemical experiments I have going down, I would go see her and I would get on my lotus and she would come in on hers and she had the most beautiful loving brown eyes so beautiful almond shell shaped and she was always just gorgeous in this unique way and just overflowing she smelled good and her skin was soft and she was always so loving and always abundantly flowing and she taught me a few things Having the layers of abundance that all humans can have is something that sometimes I'm really good at, sometimes I'm not. There are things about my childhood and also past life stuff I'm still kind of working out. So she showed me where sometimes I feel like I have to try too hard or where I have kind of squeezed shut the flow of different nectar, different juice in my life. Like... Um, by saying things like, well, I'm only one person, I only need a little bit of resources in order to live an abundant life, which is true, and I'm pretty proud of that. However, on the other hand, if I want to be this overflowing cornucopia for the world, I can't be skimpy on what I'll receive, because in order to create a lot, I have to receive a lot, that kind of thing. So um, she helped me to build this structure energetically, and then the last few days of the month, she helped me open up and kind of flush it with energy and kind of plug it in so I really look forward to seeing what happens she's one of my favorites and probably meeting up with her I didn't expect it but it was the most humbling because she showed me where I'm still healing from stuff that I didn't necessarily realize that I was still healing from but her energy itself is really beautiful she came and worked with me on abundance she came and worked with me on love she definitely showed me where I have closed myself off to love in certain ways and kind of the shadow side of being so empowered and individualized how it's wonderful to be able to be fulfilled but also she showed me where maybe I was a little bit calcified and wouldn't necessarily receive energies that would let me manifest beautiful love so I, that's interesting you know we'll see what happens right now I'm sending this to you I'm recording this on the birthday it's the 30th yay such a good day um, Beltane Eve, if you follow the ancient Celtic wheel of the year. And I have zero romantic interest in my life right now. And so it's really interesting to be doing this work with my relationship with abundance, my relationship with love, my relationship with relationship. And then we'll just sit back and see what ends up coming whenever it does. Uh, I'm in no rush, but it was interesting because one or two days she was like, okay. Let's work on this. And I was like, ooh, oh, oh, okay. I didn't realize that scar tissue was there. Thanks, mama. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend working with Lakshmi. She's just so overflowing. And also, she's such a boss. I mean, she's a female goddess. And in her sphere, nothing messes with her. She's never in danger. She's never worried. She's never afraid because the force fields around her are so epic that she travels in a sphere that is of her own design of her own creation, of her own generating. And so one of the things I've learned from her inter energetically is to allow my reality to blossom around me and to allow my spirit to shine pure and integrous and authentic so that as I'm just moving through the world, things are drawn to me and reality manifests around me, solidifies around me to align with what I want and need and how I'll know shine and it's kind of a feedback loop because then I'm giving th given things that will make me shine and then I shine and send that energy outward and on and on and on and it's worked beautifully so far. It's only been one month. So I've loved working with Lakshmi. She's been such a blessing and tomorrow from May 1st, Beltana, we pick a new goddess. Sending you guys so much love. Hope you're having a wonderful spring so far. Bye.